Huh? Why does Earth have a magnetic field? Earth's magnetic field exists because of moving liquid iron in its outer core. As Earth spins, this molten iron swirls around, creating electric currents. These currents generate a magnetic field that stretches into space. This process is called the geodynamo effect. The magnetic field protects Earth from solar wind and cosmic radiation, preventing our atmosphere from being stripped away. It also helps with navigation, as compasses align with magnetic north. Hmm. Huh? Why does the moon have no atmosphere? The moon has no significant atmosphere because its gravity is too weak to hold on to gases. Unlike Earth, which has enough mass to retain an atmosphere, the moon's lower gravity allows gas molecules to escape into space. Additionally, the moon lacks a magnetic field to shield it from solar winds, which constantly strip away any lingering gases. Without volcanic activity or biological processes to replenish gases, the moon remains airless. Hmm. Huh? Why does Saturn have rings? Saturn's strong gravity plays a key role. When asteroids, comets, or even moons ventured too close, the immense gravitational forces tore them apart. The debris from these shattered objects, as in chunks of ice and rock, continued to collide and break into smaller fragments. Over time, this material spread out and formed the stunning rings we see today. A delicate balance of destruction and beauty orbiting the planet. Hmm. Why does Jupiter have so many moons? Firstly, Jupiter's moons are remnants of the gas and dust disk that surrounded the planet after it formed. As Jupiter has a strong gravitational pull, it captured most of the material from the disk into its orbit. Hmm. Secondly, Jupiter is far enough away from the Sun that it's not affected by the Sun's gravitational pull. Hence, it is saved from the Sun's lunar theft. If Jupiter were closer to the Sun, huh? it would likely have very few moons. Hmm. Huh? Why is Jupiter's great red spot shrinking? The great red spot was once large enough to fit three Earths inside. But it's now only the width of one Earth. Hmm. A study showed that smaller storms strengthen the Great Red Spot, causing it to grow. Hmm. Now, the number of smaller storms are getting fewer and fewer on Jupiter. Hence, the Great Red Spot is not getting enough smaller storms to feed on and grow. As a result, it is shrinking. Hmm. Why does Jupiter flicker? Firstly, the Earth's atmosphere acts like a lens, with different air pockets causing light to bend and distort, resulting in the flickering effect. Hmm. Secondly, when Jupiter is closer to the horizon, its light travels through a thicker layer of atmosphere, leading to more pronounced flickering. Hmm. Lastly, planets like Jupiter appear as disks rather than points of light, which means the flickering effect is less noticeable compared to stars. Hmm. Huh? Why is Jupiter so bright? Firstly, Jupiter appears brighter when it's in opposition. During opposition, the Sun and Jupiter are on opposite sides of Earth, with Jupiter rising in the east as the Sun sets in the west. Secondly, Jupiter is covered in clouds made of methane and ammonia crystals, which reflect the sun's light very efficiently. Mm. Lastly, Jupiter's magnetic field accelerates particles and funnels them towards the planet's poles, where they collide with the atmosphere and release energy in the form of light. Mm. Huh? What color is Jupiter? Firstly, the color of Jupiter changes with storms and wind in its atmosphere. White huh? spots indicate cool storms. Brown spots indicate warm storms and red spots indicate hot storms. Secondly, 
Jupiter's outer atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, with small amounts of other elements like water droplets, ice crystals, and ammonia crystals. When these elements form clouds, they create shades of white, orange, brown, and red.